And there's one. Yeah, do some fish here. That's how we do that, guys. Pitch it, swing it, pop it, pause it. Good fish. Let's get him in the box. Right, one there. And one up here. Looking fish, huh? Mm hmm. Fish. What a pretty fish. We like that. We like that. Folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a gorgeous fall morning here, Southwest Ohio. We're fishing Caesar Creek Lake and we're targeting transition crappie, guys. Uh, this time of year when the fish are actively uh, feeding up, they're on the prowl, uh, feeding up on shad to store up energy for, uh, for the winter months to come. Two, uh, two really good places to target uh, crappie during the transition is along steep weed edges and in standing timber. So this morning we're gonna get our, our plastics out. We're gonna pitch and pop a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I use my plastics and how I pitch for them uh, in standing timber and steep weed edges. And I'm gonna also share with you how I use my electronics uh, to stay on top of the fish as well. All together should be great, great, great fun, guys. So let's get a few fish in the boat and I'm gonna tell you all about it. There's one there, uh, first one. Come on up here, fella. Ooh. Fish number one in the standing timber. Go ahead and get this guy back in the water. And what's happening this time of year is that these fish are uh, chasing the shad, and the shad will push back in these coves, in this uh, uh, timbered coves, and along these steep weed edges and they'll push back in there and the crappies will take refuge uh, in them, stage in them and ambush the shad uh, as they're passing by. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent, excellent area of opportunity to catch crappies this time of year in the timber. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Let's get some more fish. There's another one there. That's a little bit better one here. Yeah, ain't too bad. There you go, huh? Second fish. We'll go ahead and commit him to the box. Get in there. So right now we're fishing in about 25 feet of water and uh, we're fishing a, a, a piece of brush, some cover that's uh, settled in among the standing timber right now. We're fishing just above uh, that timber uh, with the uh, tri-rig or uh, a triple jig uh, plastic presentation and we're doing what I call a pitch pendulum which is where we take uh, the uh, plastics and without reeling actually and we just sort of just let it pitch out like this and let the weight of the jigs actually settle right above that cover that we're fishing right now and so right now we're fishing right above that. You know, it's about, I guess, 12 feet down to the top of the, of the brush. And I'm fishing just above that, starting at about 10 feet. We always start higher than work our way lower. And because I know that the, I want to fish about, at about 10 feet, I've adjusted my jig to the length of my pole. And I'm just simply uh, drawing back on my, my main line, pendulum, pitching it out and letting the weight of the plastics let that plastic settle right back uh, over top of that structure where we're fishing right now. And we do that throughout the, the length and width of that cover that we're fishing right now. Very effective method uh, for fishing, uh, for pitching for crappie. And I'll show you here in just a second how we can use this presentation to encourage and entice a more aggressive fish bite. Let's get back to fishing. Again, we're fishing 10 feet. We're just adjusting our plastic. To about uh, about to the area of the butt of, of the pole give or take a few inches there to accommodate uh, the distance between the rod tip and the transducer and we just swing that out and again we're just letting that triple rig the weight of that triple rig just settle uh, and swing and pendulum right back uh, to a position a vertical position over the fish and there's one there
and this is what we call uh, pitch I call it pitch pendulum uh, it's really uh, more appropriately called L bend presentation because the pattern that is made with the lures hanging down. Let's get this guy back in the water. Uh, and the, uh, the rod is the shape of an L, like this. So L bend, pitch pendulum. Um, either one works, but uh, in either case, that's how we do it. If you got any questions, guys, about how I'm doing that, let me know. And then, uh, I'll, again, I'm going to share with you how we use this rig here in just a little bit to entice and encourage uh, a more aggressive fish bite. Let's get some more fish. And what we're doing with our pitching guys, we're just backing off of that cover right now and we're just working the far, uh, far side of it, making sure that we work all sides of it as uh, thoroughly as we possibly can. So we're on the back side of it now before we move on. Mm hmm. Come on up. Come on up. Not bad. Come on up. Oh. Yes, sir. Get in the box. There's one. Let's see what we got here. And this is why we love the triple rig, guys. So the first couple we got on the bottom jig and now we've got one on the top and this is why we love the triple rig and I'll put a, a video together to show you how I tie this up but really it's just three loop knots and we got one sixteenth ounce jig head on each of them the fish get them back mm -hmm. there's one here decent fish Very, very nice. And guys, all we're doing is we're just pitching these out there. Just pitching these out in that standing timber and we're getting snatched. It's good fish, huh? Let's get them in the bucket. All right, guys, I'll just go ahead and share with you the trio of plastics that I'm using today uh, for my rig. Uh, they are the uh, Moglo Ghost Pattern uh, by Bobby Garland, the Monkey Milk Pattern by Bobby Garland, and the uh, this is the uh, Outlaw Special, uh, all on 1 16th ounce uh, jig heads, uh, and um, I've got them tied in a triple uh, rig configuration, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put a video together to show you how I tied. Very simple uh, loop knots for each one, but again, very, very effective for this type of uh, this style of fishing. So let's, back, let's get back and get some more. Pitch that out there right into the timber, right past it. I'm gonna let it settle. <clears throat> right in front of it, right where the crappies are holding. And there's one. Yeah, there's some fish here. That's how we do that, guys. Pitch it, swing it. Pop it, pause it, good fish, let's get him in the box. Right past the area of the, the timber that we want to target and let it settle right over the area that we want to target. Let it swing back into position. Pop that a little bit, pause it. And there's one there. Good fish, real good fish. Look at that guy, huh? And this is how we pitch pendulum, pop and pause, a transition crappie in the fall. Absolutely love it. Let's get him in a box. Guys, let's talk about the transition. Uh, at the beginning, uh, you heard me mention that we're, we're targeting transition crappie. What does that mean? Transition refers to the time period and the pathways, more or less, that the crappies use to go from their summertime staging areas 
to their wintertime staging areas using the fall as the transition. And they use uh, steep weed edges and standing timber as tra transition areas on their way out to uh, those wintertime areas to hold up in. And so that's why we target them. So uh, we're hitting the standing timber right now. We're doing okay. Uh, later on, I'll show you how we pitch uh, steep weed edges. And I'll also share with you how I use my electronics to, to stay on them. So just wanted to share that with you. Let's get back to fishing. Swing that out there. Let that settle. Mm-hmm. See that one was hit in transit. He hit that one in transit. That's black. Good black crappie. Whoa. Hit that one in transit. Look at that guy. Oh my god, what a pretty fish. What a pretty fish. We like that. We like that. Pretty fish. Yes. In the box. Guys, you got any questions about how I'm fishing, standing timber, the rig that I have set up, uh, or the pitching motion that I'm using and how I'm doing it, leave me a question, guys. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And if this is making sense, you guys, leave me a comment that says make sense. Again, I don't want to just tell you how to do it. I want to show you how to do it. Go through it with you together. Leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. Let's get this guy in the box. Get back to fishing. All right, folks, let's talk about steep weed edges and, and breaks. Uh, right now, we've got some marker buoys out in the water right now, and they're marking uh, a piece of cover, a tree, uh, that's sitting right alongside uh, a steep, steep break. And you'll notice in the image uh, where the arrow is pointing, uh, the uh, slope uh, tapers off really, really quickly and sharply, uh, indicating a, a steep break. And that can be an excellent, excellent place to target uh, crappies. Uh, so if you pull up on a tree, and you've got it marked and there's, there's crappies in the top of the tree and you fish that out, check those, uh, check the weed edges, especially if they drop off very sharply uh, with, when that cover is sitting next to it uh, for crappies. It can be an excellent place to target. We've got some fish uh, in the break here and I'm gonna show you exactly uh, how we fished it using the exact same presentation uh, and method that we did in the standing timber, uh, pitching, uh, pitching and swinging and pendulum uh, motion uh, to get some fish in the boat. So let's get to it, let's see how we do. We're going to start off on the higher side of that break first. And we're going to let our plastics ride the contour and settle down on the higher side of the break where the crappies are holding on the higher side of it. There's one. Yes, sir. There's one. And so for this one, we're fishing at the very top of that break before it, sh it, before it, it breaks down into to deeper water. We'll push out just a little bit and uh, get down into the deeper side of that break uh, and, and work it thoroughly. Let's get this guy back in the water, but first, I need my pliers. Oh, there's one there. And one up here. Decent fish here. Yeah, decent. Come on up. I got you. Nice black crappie. And that uh, fat boy. Uh, fatty. Good looking fish, huh? Let's get him in. Let me share with you guys what I think actually uh, increases uh, and encourages a more aggressive fish bite. And I do something what is called, what I like to call uh, heating up the tree. And what that basically means is I take uh, I practice variation in presentation even when the fish are still biting on a given set of plastics. And so some guys will fish one side of the tree uh, and fish, uh, fish the plastics or a certain color until the fish stop and then they switch. I don't wait until they stop. I use a variation of presentation and I hit the tree from different angles with different presentations and personally I believe that when the fish are biting on these and they see more, like I just caught uh, uh, that last crappie on the, the ghost pattern with the, with the pink head, and I've caught an assortment of them all morning on either one of the three here. And so when I heat up the tree and go around and I'm ca and let, allowing the crappies to see two different presentations uh, and three different 
color types or four different color types uh, and they're biting on them, to me, I believe that increases uh, the aggression of the fish uh, and it creates what is a, called a, a competition, a reaction, a competition bite where the fish are in competition for one another and that all plays into the angler's favor. Just a tip, according to Marlon Jones, it's not a, a science by any stretch of the imagination, but I personally believe that when we are very, uh, using a variation of presentations and we're working the structure from different angles, uh, that it encourages the fish uh, to be more aggressive. So there's a tip for you. Give it a try. One hurt. There's one there. Put that one on the drop. Come on up. Come on up. Yes, sir. I know. On the drop. So what we're doing right now is we're heating up the tree. That's what I like to call it. In either case, whether there's something to it or not, we're catching them. And that's what we want to do. Get him back in the water. There's one. Up, up, up you come. Indeed. A little bit better one. About the same size, actually. Legal fish. We want them bigger than that, but we are catching them, and that's what we're out here to do. We're using a double rig on this pole because get, get this guy back. Yeah, uh, use a triple rig on the other. Both of them have been working for us, and uh, we love it. Let's keep going. All right, guys, let's talk about how I use my electronics to stay on top of the fish uh, when I'm targeting, uh, targeting crappie. You'll notice I've got the marker buoys uh, in the water right now, and they, of course, are marking a piece of cover, a tree uh, in the water. So what they help me do is to, to know the relative position of that tree in relation to the boat. And then I use my Garmin Striker uh, 4 unit up front uh, here, don't know if you can see that, uh, to, uh, for 2D to give me the rough outline of the structure. So uh, if it's 15 feet, 20 feet, whatever uh, it is, I use it so that I can see where the top of the, the cover actually is. And then I use my 93U uh, uh, HD unit back, uh, Garmin, uh, on down scan to give me, to light the tree up so that I can see the separation of the fish on the tree. So if they're a foot above or if they're really tightly uh, holding uh, into uh, the structure, all that is very, very key information. So that uh, triad, the, the marker buoy uh, and the two units, uh, give me the information that I need to put my plastics right as close as possible that I can get it without hitting them in the head with it to get them to strike. Yep, let's get back to fishing. Mm-hmm. Another one there. Oh, better one, I think. Is he? Yeah, he's a little heavier. He's a little heavier. He's gonna make the grade tonight. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He'll make it. Oh, there's one there. Come on up here. Ain't a bad one. Come here. Oh, ain't a bad one. Well, guys. We're going to go ahead and stop here. Thanks so much for joining us uh, today. We had a fantastic day out on the water. Hopefully some of the tips and strategies I shared with you on how to fish standing timber uh, and weed edges uh, and steep breaks will help you go out and be successful in the water this fall when you're targeting transition crappie. If you got any questions, any comments at all uh, about anything you saw me do today or say that was confusing, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you guys again. Thanks so much for joining me out on the water today. Great day out on the water. Go out, get a line in the water, enjoy yourself fishing, and we'll see you along the way.